Hello, I know you have a couple of dream plugins you would want to have in your library, in your arsenal of uh, plugins in your studio, but for some reason that seems very impossible. I understand, considering the situation in the world today, the pandemic, many lost their job, no much clients to work with to save up that money so that you can buy your dream plugin. But not to worry, this video, I'm gonna give you lists of free plugins that will still give you top-notch quality not really exactly the, the same quality with the high-end plugins but something close to that that will still give you that standard production quality you're looking for remember it all depends on your ear and the understanding you have with the tool you're using to produce music so if this sound interesting to you, I would like you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and comment. So my name is Coinex and I'm glad and happy to have you guys back on this channel, Coinex the producer. Without wasting much of our time, let's dive right into it. Number one on the list of free plugins is from a company called Baby Audio and this is their official website. So for you to get the plugin I'm talking about, you need to go under the freebie section and there we have them. So this is actually the one we'll be talking about. So the name is Baby Comeback. Baby Comeback actually is a, a delay plugin. But according to the review on their website, they said Baby Comeback is a free delay plugin developed in collaboration between Baby Audio and Computer Music Magazine. It offers a stripped down version of our award winning comeback kit delay echo plugin. The plugin includes an onboard docker as well as four wet signal flavors, which are wide, analog, saucy, and cheap. All right. This is just a little review they have on the official website, but the problem here is I don't really understand what an onboard docker means, but uh, I would suggest you just uh, research about that uh, so that you know more about it because this video actually I don't want it to be very long. So I will be focusing more on giving you the lists of the free plugins I would recommend you guys to use in 2022, especially those that don't have the budget to avail themselves of uh, the high end or the ones that you need to pay for online out there. To download this, you need to input your email, click download and that's it. So right now we're going to go into FL Studio so that we have a little demonstration and understand how this beauty of a plugin how it works okay so let's check out this plugin now i have a simple instrumental then i have it on the master channel just to know how this amazing plugin works so let's go That is the wide flavor so I will switch I will toggle in between all the four flavors to know how they affect signal individually Okay, and over here are the types of delays.
this is nice this is really nice so it all depends on how you manipulate or tweak with this tool okay so that will be it for baby come back the next one is gonna be the second on the list ssq from a company called analog obsession according to the review on their site the said ssq version 6.0 they are trying to let us know that it's a famous console equalizer with four times over sampling and more features and those features are minus plus 15 db for each band brown knob for low frequency with smooth and musical character bell option for low and high bands high pass and low pass filters four times over sampling it will turn to red when over sampling is engaged which means the analog obsession logo turns to red when over sampling is engaged also show you a notification it has mac version and windows version if you want to download so this is the official site where you can download it for free so let's go back to fl studio and check it out now the said uh, plus minus 15 db for each band uh, these are the bands these are the filters this the low the high filter the low supposedly this is the low frequency oh 15 db uh, okay this is the low mid this is the high mid frequency and this is the high and as you can see the graphical representation of what you are adjusting here is really what the set it is you know 15 db of increase in volume and reduction so as you can see 15 also though not on the exact spot but within that range so which is pretty cool pretty exact or close to be exact and uh, another thing i'm looking out is the curve it's not a harsh one it has smooth curve which is good and uh what else do they have here so we just check it out and and finally judge from what we can hear i'm using this button curve analyzer to see what's going on with the plugin and uh from what i'm seeing i think they are saying the truth they said each band has 15 db of gain reduction and increase and as you can see that is actually on 15 db region so that is true and this is the low cuts and the high cuts which is pretty nice the curves seem smooth and not harsh so let's have a listen Actually, this sounds nice and one thing I observed about this plugin is that no matter how much I increase, no matter how high I go, the texture still sounds soft and not harsh. 
you know so this will really really be good for when you're trying to master your song to 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 have an overall uh tonal quality of your entire mix during mastering i think this would be good to handle such uh challenges so that will be all i will talk about this and we'll go straight to the third free plugin in the list if you want to get the plugin just go to the site though i will i will link it in the description and get it and see what you can do with it the third on the list is an amazing mic preamp actually i use this this is one of my go-to plugin in production when i'm trying to add a kind of tonal quality or character to my entire mix or when i'm tracking my vocal or any instrument that i want to have that analog datey kind of texture on it i use this one of the reasons why i love this particular uh, preamp is it really gives me that tonal character that's color that i want and uh it's soft it's not harsh and as long as i can remember that i've been using this i've never complained it gives me exactly what i want and uh, when you try to analyze it when you're trying to check it with this uh eq curve analyzer you discover that when you make changes it's just just a little bit of impact is making but at the same time giving you exactly what you want now back to the site according to the little review they have on the site they call it vintage mic pre amp slash di according to the site this mic and di a switch enables you to switch whether you want to use it as a mic preamp or a direct in and uh, this voltage gain actually is what adds that uh, distortion that preamp that drives it you know and the pad helps you to add extra gain the pole helps you to invert invert the phase then the rumble this is the low cut high cut high shelf you know uh, and uh, this helps you to find set the gain and this is the output the on and off bypass button if you may so that is all about the mic pre but believe you me I, I use this a lot and it gives me what i want so but have in mind that as you use it be subtle and pay close attention to what you're hearing so that you don't overdo things so that is it about bread by analog obsession so let's have a quick demonstration before we jump into the next on the list If you can pay close attention to the time the kick comes in you you hear the effect when i drive it all the way up if you can hear that without with and as you can see this is all the way up and it's not really hurting the entire mix that much but like i said previously while you do what you do just be uh, careful not to overdo and judge with your ears and at this point it's too much but for me i usually go for 28 at 28 i'm always good depending on the material at this point i'm always good i'm always uh, satisfied but it all depends on the material you're working with and over here is the output to find set the gain to invert the face is reversed it is normal increase more if you listen when I press the pad return it to zero the volume increases more and when I take it, engage the pad, minus 20 dB, it reduces it. So. 
so that is it about uh, the mic pre let's talk about clipping the next on the list is free clip is a clipping plugin from Ven Audio. It's actually an amazing plugin. I use this and I also use uh, f uh, another one, Saturate, from a new Fangold company. So, um, always important to clip almost everything in your mix. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually uh, a strange thing to say, but we are not really going to go into why we need to clip our group and some elements in our mix, especially the drum and uh, percussive instruments. We are not going going to go into that now. But the essence of this video is to show you the list of free plugins that you can use that will still give you that top-notch quality. All you need to do is to understand how to use them and uh, as well save yourself some couple of bucks you know so this is a uh, vein audio and here is their free plugin free clip and according to their sites uh, when you get to the site this is their official website and they have uh, a demo video to show you a little more about uh, the plugin is a free uh, clipping plugin and it's an intuitive uh, multi algorithm soft clipper or wave shaper and it's available on both Windows and Mac actually I'm not gonna go into reading all these things and when you scroll a little bit down that is where you see the download file for Windows and also for Macintosh honestly I use this and I also use that from uh, Newfangled, which is Saturate, and they work pretty well for me. You know, I I always use this on my kick. You know, to have that uh, distorted kind of texture and to really push up those harmonics hiding, you know, in the in the sampled kick, and also to set that that's ceiling where my my percussions or my overall drum sample doesn't exceed certain level so that is it and uh, the features here you can see here the gain over here the types of uh, clips it has over sampling post over sampling clip at 0 db Post over sampling clip at ceiling. When activate this, it works with the zero dB output. And when activates, when you activate this, it works with the ceiling. You'll be wondering why I have two plugins here. I always use the oscilloscope whenever I am clipping, just to know what is going on. It's actually recommended. It's it's advisable to always have this so that you see what's going on with your entire mix. I will also recommend you it's also free scope is free and it's from uh, this website or this company still well so but I will, I'll have all these uh, links in the description so that you can easily download them is actually not free it's sold but the demo version is yeah, that's what I have been using I've never had any issue with that so I will recommend you to get it so that uh, when uh, you are producing, especially when you are clipping uh, individual instruments or group or whatever you are doing with the clip, you can uh, visually monitor and see what is going on and what you are actually doing. So I will demo this a little bit. I will use this kick to show you what the clip does and I believe majority know about clipping and all that so i'm not really going to start breaking it down you know i'm just trying to show you this particular free plugin free clip and uh, scope so uh i'm not going to start demonstrating on how to use these plugins what i'm actually doing is just to demo it a little bit so that you have a feel of how it works and uh also you know that they are free and you can also download it and use it for yourself and 
make good music. So I will demo it with a kick drum. And that is just simple kick that I will use. And now I will activate our I will activate the master channel right now. Now, before I go into the scope, let's talk about the clip. I use the clip to just achieve that extra punch clearer transient and uh, to, to also help the kick stand out in the mix so what I normally do is just uh, set my ceiling to the level I want it the, the level I don't want the kick to exceed so it all depends on what you want to achieve so let's say I'm, I want to set it at uh, 6 dB Then I drive the gain knob, the input to like 3 dB. And I have the clip type at hard. Now, as you can see, the more you drive the ceiling, the more it dis distorts the sound and gives it that uh, that punch and grit you know so over here is the output and here is the types of, of uh, sampling so uh, you set your over sampling I usually go for 4x or 8x you know so pretty simple So I will over exaggerate it so that you see what is going on. Then we'll go to the scope to all really understand what we are doing. Now, over to the scope, you, these are the modes, the types. Here is uh, the time. And you can actually freeze it to see what is going on. Now, as you can see, the clip is really chopping off those excessive peaks. So let's turn off the clip to, to see what happens without the clip being on or activated. That's the original kick sample, but with the clip engaged, You see it has chopped it off and it sounds more present and and punchy if i may so these are the most important uh features here the, your outputs you set your ceiling you choose the type of clip you want to use you drive in the inputs and uh you use your oscilloscope to monitor what's going on and under the oscilloscope this is uh the time this is the frequency as you can see you can increase the display you can zoom and all that and over here the face to know the position of the sample you're working on uh, in the spectrum field of course is a kick so call center and that is it uh, these are I believe this is the left the right channel
yeah this is the right channel in red and this is the left channel so all this as you can see is very very good to help you understand what is happening on the left and on the right and this one i believe is for uh, all that signal that comes in maybe when you sidechain the kick and the bass and you send the bass here so that you can see the relationship between the kick and the bass you know and things like that uh, fft size the speed the opacity and all that so i will suggest you make out time to like study and understand these amazing plugins and the good thing is they are all free they will still give you that tight and professional quality that the ones that you pay for will still give you so i will suggest you to go for this and uh and upgrade and improve your mix or your production that will be it for free clip from ven audio and uh scope from uh steel wheel uh company and that brings us to the end of this episode of my five recommended free plugins for music production in the year 2022 i hope you make out time to research more about these plugins and know them more and better and i hope you enjoyed this video review on baby comeback from baby audio ssq from analog obsession free clip from ven audio scope from still well and pred from analog obsession so i hope this helped i wish you guys all the very best in your journey to enhance and improve your music production skill so keep practicing stay safe stay blessed and bye bye